it's Maddie and today I'm super excited for this video because I'm going to be finally doing my New York City vlog and I'm really excited to share some of the awesome things I did and saw in New York. Also some of the awesome things I got. I can't wait to share my adventure with you guys. like our videos, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, click the big red subscription button, and click the notification bell so you never miss one of our videos. Okay, so my adventure started on um, going to the airport and I was so excited. I'm like, we're going to New York! I I'm actually, like, I was so excited and I could not wait. I, I couldn't even sleep that night. Although we did have to get up at six in the morning to be there for nine because our flight left like somewhere around 10 or something, I thought. So we got there and we looked at the kiosks, but they were all down. So then we had to get in this huge long lineup and it took us like two and a half hours to get closer to the front and I didn't really want anything for my snack pack. So I decided to get a delicious Tim Hortons donut. And when we were like five, four people away from getting checked in, they start to rearrange it to like Los Angeles, New York, and all these different places. So then we were the last people in the line again. So then it took another 45, 20 minutes to finally get checked in. And we were the last people on our flight. So we made it just in time, which is all good. But the good thing is they would have waited for us anyways because all the flights had to be delayed because there was such a long lineup. And guess what this silly thing is? Once we finally got checked in, the kiosks were back up and running. So that was kind of like, seriously, how come they could have just been running the whole time? I mean, that would have sure made it a little bit easier. But we still got our flight A-OK, -okay, so that's good. And the craziness that started off our trip definitely didn't continue on to our trip because our trip was awesome. So it was about a four and a half hour flight from where I live to New York City. So. I had a lot of movies that I was watching and lots of delicious treats. As you can see, I had some Pringles. I really loved the pretzels and biscuits. And my mom's friend Bill tagged along with us to go to New York City. As you can see, he looks pretty tired, probably because he had to be up at six in the morning, but he's actually really excited to go to New York as that was his first time being there. Day one in New York City. We stayed in the Soho area and I loved our hotel. It had this cool courtyard entrance and it was actually really pretty there and they even lit it up at night. Off to explore the city. I just love all the cool things New York City has to see. I found this beautiful garden between some of these buildings. And then there's also some weird things. Like what's with this piggy being changed up? I actually feel kind of bad. I like the piggy. It was cute. Pigs are cute. And then there's these lower stair levels and they're like everywhere around New York kind of when you're just walking and some of them creep me out. Next on our adventure, we made our way down to City Hall Park and I found this cool maple leaf which represents my country, Canada. It's on our flag. So that was cool. Actually, I found two of them, but I guess you could say I found more than that because they were everywhere in City Hall Park. We made our way down to the World Trade Center area in Lower Manhattan where we came across an amazing mural art project. There were so many colors. Last time when I was in New York, this area was still in construction. So it was very nice to see the area rebuilt, but it was still heavy knowing how many people lost their lives there and the impact 9-11 had on New York City, us and the world. And then we saw the memorial pools. It was nice to see the memorial finished and all of the names of people who lost their lives being represented. And although the area might look beautiful, you can still feel a heaviness there. And then we started to get hungry, so we head to the pier where we got some lunch. I got a hot dog from the hot dog stand, and it was delicious. And then there's a lot of birds in the area, like there's pigeons and just, you know, some smaller birds, and all of them were following me around, so I decided to give them some of my hot dog bun, and they seemed to enjoy it, so it was all good. So I did that for a little while, eating all of the pigeons and birds. 
Then we headed into Battery Park where you can take the ferry to see the Statue of Liberty. And look at the cutie little squirrel I saw. I wanted to pet it so bad, but we need to keep wildlife wild. It's so cute. We also saw some more monuments around the pier and we didn't decide to go to the Statue of Liberty and take the ferry there as we were kind of running out of time because we also had the concert later that night. But look, I have the Statue of Liberty in my hand. One of the cool things is I came upon a sketch artist who wanted to draw me. So I decided to have the sketch artist draw me and it was so cool. And in the photo, I look a little bit older. It's almost like me, but an adult virgin, but I still really like it. I mean, he's a really good drawer, well, sketch artist. And I can't believe how fast he did. He did it in like five minutes. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so this is the final result. It's so good. I could never draw like that. I mean, I have a pretty good drawer. Oh gosh, someone's pulling the hair in my face. As I was saying, I have a pretty good drawer, but I could never draw that good. Or at least not right now. But if I keep practicing, maybe I can draw that good when I am older. And I was getting super cold because it was actually really cold in New York. And I was also getting hungry, so we stopped into a Starbucks where I got a delicious brownie and a hot chocolate. That made me feel a lot better. And then it was time to head back to the hotel to get ready for Kiss. Okay guys, we're heading to the Kiss concert right now. I'm so excited and I'm actually wearing my Kiss End of the World Tour shirt. So let's go. We took a cab down to Madison Square Garden where we saw the concert. It was so exciting to get there, but there was a lot of people there. Apparently a lot of people like Kiss. And I also asked my mom if she could give me some cat whiskers because my favorite character is Catman. Where is he on my shirt? Oh, he's all the way over here. So I really like the Catman, so that's why I decided to have some cat whiskers. I did have to have my earplugs in, but we had a great concert and we were seated on the floor and I also saw Kiss before in the North Dakota State Fair, but it was really cool to see them again, especially up close. They had an amazing light show and a performance. It was just awesome. And at the end, they like shooting these cans and there's streamers falling down everywhere and that was so cool. I kind of feel bad though for the people that had to clean it up because there were streamers everywhere. And when I mean everywhere, I mean everywhere like they were just falling down on your hair and i remember there was one that got stuck in my hair and my mom's too so we were kind of like okay let's just let's just get these out of our hair before we go so that was also really cool and one of my all-time favorite parts about the kids concert is they played my favorite song bad i i love that song and it's actually sung by the Catman, which is my favorite character. So that made me really happy. Same when I was in North Dakota because I always thought, well, they usually just sing all the songs together as a band, so they probably wouldn't just do his single song. But they did both times when I saw Kiss. So that made me happy again because I'm like, wow, it's close to the end. I don't think they're going to do it. I think the show's just going to end. Maybe they'll just do one last song. But then their last song was Beth. Yay, they play my favorite song. So much fun. That's me and my mom rocking out of the concert. Second day in New York City, me, mom, and Bill took the subway down to Yankee Stadium. It was the Yankees season opener game against the Orioles. My mom and Bill love the Yankees and it was really exciting for Bill because it was his first time going to the actual Yankee Stadium where my mom has been there a number of times and me as well. Hey guys, we're at the New York Yankee Stadium right now. We're about to grab some stuff from their store and then we're gonna head to the game. So I got this shirt. I also got my hat. I really like it. What do you think guys, you like my hat and my shirt? Leave me a comment down below. So the Yankees won the game, that's always a good thing. So my mom and Bill were pretty happy about that. I mean, so was I. It was just a fantastic day at the ballpark. And that's me, my mom and Bill. Loving that we're at the Yankee Stadium. After the Yankees game, we went shopping. 
This is what I got from Target. I can't wait to open these and then we can check them out together. I'm especially excited for these because these are fuzzy LOLs, but they're the pets. So I thought we'd get some of those because they don't have them where we live quite yet. But before we opened these, we also went to the new FEO Schwartz store. The new store was okay, but I like the original location better. They had some Gude Tama stuffies. Those were awesome. He's so cute. Oh gee, look at this Barbie. She's beautiful. So many stuffies, and then I think this is Hedwig from Harry Potter. And then look at these cutie little baby dolls. Oh, I wanted one so bad, but my mom said we couldn't get one because it might not have fit in our suitcase on the way back to our airplane. And then my favorite part, look at this crazy candy section. They have like this huge nerds box and then these ginormous gummies. How are you supposed to finish all of these in one day? That's my question. But the candy section's always my favorite part. <laughs> then there was this balloon hat thing and it was kind of insane. I think it was supposed to be some sort of cat. I, I didn't really know what it was at first though. Then we headed down to Times Square and did some more shopping there. So we went to Levi's store and they had a whole bunch of peanut stuff there. So there's like Snoopy, Charlie Brown, the whole Peanuts gang. So I got a Snoopy shirt from Levi's. I love it so much. I'm obsessed with Snoopy. He's just so cute. And I also got a jean jacket and I'm glad I got one because I got back home and realized my other jean jackets didn't fit. And if you can believe it, Bill got pulled into a street performance while we were at Times Square. So it was pretty cool. These guys did a little dancing bit. And in order to get people into it, they started pulling people from the crowd and they pulled Bill. And then they jumped over them. That was kind of cool. There's always something fun and interesting going on in New York City, that's for sure. And although it was kind of silly, I think Bill enjoyed being a part of the performance. I know my mom and I had fun watching him. It was a little hard for me to see though because there was a lot of taller people than me so I kind of had to stand on a table and some chairs. Hmm, I don't know if you're supposed to be doing that but um, no one saw me doing that so it was okay. So much fun, I love New York. But it's time to open up these and see what we got. I think I'm gonna start with this LOL Pets one because I'm really excited to see what these are all about. If you haven't had a chance to check out our merch, we have a whole bunch of different stuff. We'll leave a link in the video description for that. So make sure you go check it out. All right, let's open this up. Except I am kind of peculiar because it says wash me on here. So I wonder if we're gonna have to wash them. Hmm, this might be interesting. All right, here's our clue. Our clue is new coat. All right, our next layer. Ooh, this looks cool. It Look, there's like a broken heart on the top. Hey, this also looks like a pet shampoo bottle. At first I was wanted to think that we could like twist this. Oh my gosh, that's so cool guys. This comes off and look, it's almost like maybe we can wash it with this because it's like pet shampoo. Cause I don't know if you can see, but there's little holes in there. So it almost looks like something can come out. That is super cool. Let's open up our surprise. And then we can't forget our litter box. So this is all of the LOLs that we can collect. We have the Glitterati, Opposites Club, Glee Club, Glam, Athletic, Dance, Retro and Swim, STEM, Storybook, and Art Club. Possum. Awesome. Oh, this is so cute. It looks like we have a little bottle and it says bubbly. I wonder if the top comes off as well. It does. This is really hard to get off. I wonder what's in here. This one's pretty big, but it doesn't feel like it has much. Hmm. Oh, this is our chain. 
Let's just put that on. There we go. And it also says on the instructions that you can use this and pop up the top and use it like a little bath. And this is like, you can fill it up with like some bubbles and stuff and then you can pour it in like a bubble bath. But I'm just gonna be using a bowl of water. All right, our final thing is our little scooper. Hmm, what should we do? Open up our pet or see what's in our litter box. I think I'm going to go with our litter box because this is going to have an accessory in it. And then I'll leave the pet for last. Ooh, it's pink. It almost looks like there's some tiny sparkles in there. Oh, it's just like shifting around. I'm like, huh? Here, let me just see if I can do that then. Hmm, I guess that's one way. Here, let me just see if I can find what's in here. Oh, it looks like I found a little outfit in here. So here's our little checkered pattern, checkered pattern cutie outfit. Let's see what else we have in here. I'm trying to not make a big mess. I think that might be all. Yep, that's all. So this sand feels really cool just to play with. So squishy and soft. All right, now it's time to see who our fluffy pet is. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the Storybook Club, Kansas. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to represent the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy's dog, Toto. Except this one's pink. Although I really like it. Look at how cute it is. Let's sploosh it into the water. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, I see it now. It's like you have to wash off the fur. <gasps> yeah, cause look. Oh, that's so cool. So we've gotta get all of the fuzziness off. Some of it got onto my fingers, but that's okay because it's super soft. Right, we just gotta wash her. I don't wanna take all the fluff off because it's really soft, but then we'll have a cutie little pet. Oh my gosh, look at the water. There's all this fluff in it. <laughs> I can't wait to see how um, the water turns out once we've got all the fluff off of all of our pets. It's going to be multicolored with lots of fluff. All right, we've almost got it. And here we have our little Toto, except this is Kansas. Look at how cute she is with her outfit on. All right, let's see what she does. Oh my gosh, did you just see that, guys? She tinkles! Okay, so I opened the next one already, and our clue was fluff ball. I'm excited to see what this one is. All right, let's open it up. All right, what's in here? Ooh, I like the color of this. It's almost like a see-through pink. Um, what's in here? It's just like this huge bag, but then there's this tiny thing in the corner. I love this outfit. Hey, this kind of reminds me of one of the LOL outfits I've got before. Then for this one, we have a little bottle. All right, time to see what's in our litter box. I think I'm just gonna use my hands again for this one because it's a little bit easier. I can't feel anything in here, really. Whatever is in here, it must be really small. That's weird, I can't feel anything. Oh, I found it. Oh, it's a little hairbrush. And it has a broken heart on the back. All right, let's see what our pet looks like. Ooh, this one's a cutie little blue fluffy pet. It's kind of teal. It almost looks like there's some pink on the side. Time for my bath. <laughs> Here I go. Woo. I think I'm right. This does look like a pink pet. Hey look, it has a cool hairstyle. I love all the pink peeking through. It almost looks like it has braids. Hmm, that also seems familiar. All right, we have Ice Barker and she's from the Athletics Club and she's a crier. <laughs> I don't wanna find my winter bestie. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. I'm all ready with the third one and our special clue is 
baby. And here, I'm pretty sure this is going to be our scooper. Ooh. Oh, we got a kitty. That makes me really happy. I love kitties. A cutie little outfit. What's in here? And a coffee cup. Then our accessory here is what? <laughs> I can kind of see what it is already. There's something at the top there. Let's see if I can just dig. Oh, we have some itty bitty shoes. Here's one, here's the other shoe. All right, there's a lot of little shoes in here. And it also looks like they come with some plastic in them, so I'll have to take those out too because they kind of got stuck in here. I love how they did that so you don't have to dig all of the sand out because that's happened before when I've had some of these. So it's two different colored shoes. I couldn't notice it at first, but there's two blues and two whites. And our pet is... It's another pet with some blue fur. Well, look at this pet's hair. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Katie, time for your bath. No, no bath. I go. I go, I go, I go. Wait, I'm sorry, kitty, but you have to go in here. No! Should probably try and get this one done quickly because our poor kitty does not want to be in this water. Help me! Hi, I'm Jiving Cat, and I'm from the Retro Club. And I'm popular. <laughs> and I'm also really sad because you put me in the water. <laughs> I need to take a break. <laughs> so we're all ready to reveal our fourth and final fuzzy pet, and this one is Fur Baby again. Hopefully that doesn't mean it's a duplicate. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. Hmm, I think this is, I don't know which one this is gonna be. I've never seen one that looks like this. Hmm, we'll have to find out who this little one is. Our next surprise has this cutie little hat. Oh, look at it, it's almost like it has a strawberry around the top. Here's our final accessory that's in a bag. We have a little bottle. All right, what's in our litter box? This one's also kind of tricky to open. And it's an outfit. Whoa, this outfit has a lot of colors on it. So this outfit has a side that's checkered and then a side that's just all this pretty like purpley pink. It's almost like a magenta. Now it's time to reveal our pet. Ooh. I think this one's gonna be a bird. What do you think, guys? <laughs> it looks kinda funny with all the blue fur on it though. Time for your bird bath, birdie. We'll get her all cleaned off and revealed and see who we have. Hi, I'm Gogo Birdie and I'm from the Retro Club and I'm popu popular, but kind of sad because, well, my hat won't stay on and it's really cute and like, look at it, but look, watch, I'm flying, I'm flying, I trip and fall, but yeah, it like falls, like, it, it just won't stay on. Here, let me just, that made me really sad today. And then also, I, I got an ice cream and I kind of dropped it. All right, well, I should probably go now and meet my other friends. But I'm still sad. And here's all four of the fuzzy pets I got today. And if YouTube doesn't have our comments turned off, leave a comment down below on which one's your favorite. I think my favorite is, I'm gonna have to go with Ice Barker because she's so cute. Then she also has an LOL friend because I remember I also have the doll in this one. So that also makes me really happy. But I do like the rest of them because they're all super cute. Time to move on to our LOL Surprise Bling series. And we have four of these to check out today. All right, time to open this up. Our clue is glow up. All right, our next layer. I love that these look like disco balls. All right, there's our final layer. I really like the wrapping in this one. Whoa. 
there's all of the LOL characters that we can collect in this series. They're so glittery. Wow. I really want the Troublemaker one. She's so cutie. She's right there at the bottom. Fingers crossed. All right, I'm gonna start with this one. Ooh, we got a little bow. This bow is on fleek. Oh, are these like little bracelets? Look at these, they're so small. And then here we have some glittery shoes and then these are also multicolored. Can't forget our glittery outfit. I really like this outfit. There's top and bottom. And we have the glittery bottle and this one says missing. Have you seen meow? All right, let's see who our doll is. We got Prankster. Let's get her dressed up. Hi, and as you know, I'm Prankster. And I'm a fabulous. But uh, I'm really sad because my phone keeps falling off. And, and it keeps doing that. <laughs> I gotta go take a break. I'll put on my bowl later. Here's our second blink and our clue is glitter on point. All right, let's pop this open. All right, I'm gonna start with this one. We have two little skating shoes. Hmm. Then in here, we have this cutie outfit. Hey, I'm just thinking, what if I'm getting ice skater that could go with Ice Barker. That would be possum. All right, wait, no. We have one more. We have some earmuffs. All right, is this gonna be Ice Skater? Let's see. And it's Ice Skater. And she's also doing the splits for some reason. They're all doing the splits. start with this one. I think this is gonna be the bottle. Hey, please tell me this is not a duplicate. Okay, so here's our ice skater. It's the twinsy one. And for some reason, she won't suck anything up. So I don't know, maybe she doesn't cry, spit, tinkle, or color change. But that's okay, she's still cutie. All right, we're on our fourth and final ball for our bling ones, and our clue is sparkle like a star. I'm excited to see which, who this is. I hope it's the one I really want to get. I'll start with this one. Looks like we got some shades. Oh, I love this bottle. It's almost like a pop can. Ooh, I'm loving this outfit. And finally, we have these glittery shoes. Time to see who our LOL is. It's Dollface, let's get her dressed. Hi, and as you know, I'm Dollface, and I'm a fabulous. Oh, it's such a warm day out, I need to relax with some soda. Ew! I really don't like warm pop. I gotta go find a refreshing, cool drink. <sighs> Here's all of the blink LOLs. My favorite is Dollface. And now we've got Pick Me Pops. These are called the Domies. And they say that they're sweet, scented, and it's a donut plush inside. I'm excited to check these out. Let's open it up. I 
love the containers. They're like donuts. And look at the pink swirly icing on this one. There's a lot that we can collect. All right, let's open it up. Oh, look, he's so cute. This is Zeppo the Hedgehog. What does this one smell like? Mmm, this one almost smells like cotton candy. And Zeppo is a rare. Oh, and I guess he smells like donuts. But he does smell delicious. And he is super cute. I mean, I get how he smells like donuts because he is a little donut. I love this cute case. If only these were real donuts, this one looks delicious. I almost wish I could eat it. All right, let's pop this one open. Doesn't it look like a unicorn, guys? I mean, it kind of does, or maybe like a little horsey. I love how it has just like this little mini tail. This one smells delicious. Let's see who we have. She's Leela the Pony, and her scent is strawberry jelly. I can definitely see how it's strawberry jelly. She's just so cute and adorable. Like, look at her. And there's our little Leela. I love the pink drizzle on this one, it goes so well with the purple. caramel cream and strawberry jello. <laughs> All right, there's better. I love the colors on this donut. They're very vibrant. And inside we have, oh, we have a cutie little owl. Look at this one, it's so cute. Hmm. I want to see this one's almost like cinnamon bun scented. It smells really good. Or maybe like cinnamon apple? I'm not sure. All right, but this is Hooli the Owl. That definitely suits this little owl. And it scented like cinnamon. So I was right. It just kind of smelled like cinnamon when I first smelled it. I'm like, hmm, it kind of smells like cinnamon. Mm. I think this one is my favorite for the scent. And there is our final pick me pop. I just love New York City so much and I can't wait to go back there. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my adventures that I had in New York City for this trip. Bye guys, see you next time. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go banana.